Hi everyone, this is Mike with the National Weather Service in Wilmington. We have stormy weather on the way for Monday evening and overnight, so we're going to talk a little bit about what we can expect for tomorrow evening and overnight. We may see some stronger to isolated severe storms develop, with the main hazard being damaging wind gusts. We might see a tree down or even some branches down in some of the strongest storms. Hail is also a possibility in some of the stronger storms, and we cannot rule out a tornado or even some minor flooding at some intersections that don't drain very well or some low-lying poor drainage areas. The areas in yellow here are where we are expecting the increased threat for some storms to develop that could produce some damaging wind gusts Monday evening into the early Tuesday morning hours. So we expect storms to mainly have a damaging wind threat along the I-95 corridor and as those storms move eastward into the late evening to early Tuesday morning hours, the storms should diminish in strength, but could still produce an occasional strong wind gust. Here is the simulated reflectivity for Monday afternoon, where we could see some isolated showers begin to start popping up in the afternoon. But the main line of potentially severe weather could start moving through the area late evening to the early Tuesday morning hours, overnight Monday night spreading across the area and diminishing as it gets closer to the coast. This disturbance that's moving through the area will bring some showers Tuesday morning as well, but we're not expecting them to be severe at this time. And the showers will start to begin to dry out sometime for Tuesday afternoon. So by the time the rain is all finished, Monday and Tuesday, we could see close to three quarters of an inch of rain along the coast. And then as we move further inland towards the I-95 corridor, we could see near an inch to slightly above an inch of rainfall for those locations. So to summarize, strong damaging wind gusts are possible Monday evening into the early Tuesday morning hours, where we could see some downed tree limbs and maybe even an occasional downed tree in the strongest storms. And any outdoor objects that are not secured could be blown around in these stronger wind gusts. Our confidence in this storm system is medium. And again, this storm system that's moving through will bring the potential for strong to severe storms Monday evening into the early Tuesday morning hours and then rain showers throughout the day Tuesday, eventually exiting the area by Tuesday afternoon. For the latest updates for any forecast information, you could visit us at weather.gov slash ILM. You could also see warnings and watches there as well. We also keep our Facebook and Twitter pages up to date. We are at NWS Wilmington NC. And please stay tuned for rapidly changing conditions that are possible Monday evening and overnight. For all of us here at the National Weather Service, again, I'm Mike. Thank you so much for watching.